To know me is to know this. I am obsessed with everything French. I believe at some point I was probably James Baldwin and, or Josephine Baker and I was supposed to be in France. I was supposed to leave the States and move to Paris. But one thing that keeps me really close to it and that's why not only the craftsmanship that drew me to it, but it was the heritage of Hermes being this kind of like family solid French company. What I love about the ranges that I have from the Croc Kelly bag to the custom saddle leather for the very first Birkin that I have. These things kind of take me on these journeys and I, I have these moments of romance when I get to wear them and it helps me fantasize and keep my momentum up when I can't make it to Paris. When I think about my art collection, I started off doing like a lot of blue chips. We have a Joan Mitchell, we have a Keith Haring, and we have a Picasso and that's where we started. And it was because a lot of people told me that I was only supposed to value non-black artists. It was only, the value was only supposed to be in white artists. And a dear friend, Erin Drake Lee, um, sat me down one day and she walked me through all these beautiful black artists. And from that moment on, I made a decision to only collect artists of color. Gerald Lavelle was like a, a really fantastic situation. What I promote a lot is like, start going young. He, he's young and he was new and he was fresh and I was able to collect three of them and now he's like, he's like a thing. You know, I have a Kahinde Wiley, uh, which I'm obsessed with and I got it as a gift for my husband. Kwame is one other photographer that I fell in love with and he kind of coined the phrase, black is beautiful. So we have that one, and I also have another one over Arrow's crib. This piece was just recently given to me by Louis Vuitton Nicola, the creative director for the women's collection. We recently just had a son, Arrow Fox, and they sent me this beautiful box with his name on it, and it does something like this. When it comes to my sneaker collection, I'm a kid who grew up in the Midwest in St. Louis and I grew up skateboarding. That was the thing and like having a cool sneaker was always a vibe and a, and a situation. That kind of screams my reach when it comes to sneakers is the ease of a classic Chuck to a Jordan and then something pretty wild. When I leave the planet, I hope my body of work says joy. I want to leave an, eye, a, a, an emotion and a feeling where most people are able to look at things and get to react and smile and feel some type of joy and happiness. Because I think that's the one thing that we, it's honestly for free, but if I can enhance it and support and give that as a bonus to someone, I would love that.